because Denver is going to start flying a winger out of the zone. If they win this draw, which they don't, they're sending guys. McNeely walks in. Bad angle shot. He's loose. Backhander. Two chances. Oh! And it just flutters wide. Might have caught a piece of the post. As we saw the Hockey East referee say no, and the safe call usually means there's iron contact. Delayed offside. Denver must touch up. Here comes Silly. Look at him. Work his way through the zone. Throws it in front. Can't do it. Good hit by Lee. Livingstone. Lutz. Rips it. Oh, it almost beat Krona under his right armpit. Good change by Minnesota State. While they're in the offensive zone, they get three new guys out on the ice. Tough sledding through the neutral zone for both teams. Denver trying to stick with it and get their chance to tie this game. Here comes Connor Gregor. Gregor on the off wing. Turn, throws it behind the net. Josh Grohl will chase it down. Grohl back to the point. One timer mask. Boy, he pounded that. Krona save. Another save. Loose in front. Pavel throws it in front. Minnesota State starting to stream together chances. But here come the Pios. Stapley. Divine. Looking to make a play. In front. Oh, Stapley can't get it. Benning fires. Goal! Ryan Barrow ties the game. One. One. Well, it sort of looked like Minnesota John was sort of sitting on that lead thinking that might be enough to win the period but uh, they just kept going Denver kept battling Kelly battling getting the puck deep that's a great play right there freezing up man goes to the net and there's the traffic in front loose puck in front the rebound was just sitting there Ex great job just a great period and this play actually starts on a three on two for Denver that turned into a three on five so they're outnumbered offensively, but Benning, who came off the bench, heads right towards the offense, continues his momentum moving forward. And it's a simple play, guys. It's a shot towards the net and a hungry rebound for Ryan Barrow, one of the seniors for the DU Pioneers. And now it's a 1-1 game. Shots on goal mean nothing now, guys. 25-10, Minnesota State, but 1-1 on the big scoreboard. Denver has life. Their fans are on their feet. It's been tough sledding, but at long last, they break through with the national championship on the line in Boston. Sandlin, as the Pios surround their goaltender, collapse towards the house. McNeely back along the wall. Furry can't get it. Sandlin hard to the boards. Oh, that's a penalty. Power play, Denver. Morton sent. Gutman flying in the air, and the Pios looking for their first power play goal in this year's tournament. Tripping is the call. Looking for the momentum, looking for the quick breakout. The Denver Pioneers have life. Let's go back and revisit the DU goal. I mentioned it was a three on five offensively, and Devine puts the puck towards the middle, looking for Stapley, but it's Benning, the defenseman who had come off the bench. He continued up the right side wall. He sees that puck, and as a defenseman, when you can walk into a strong side one-timer with all your momentum, that's one of the harder shot opportunities that you're going to get, and Barrow tucked it in, and now, guys, what a break for Denver. They're gonna go on the power play in the third period after just scoring a goal, having a little bit of momentum. So a great opportunity for the Pios to take control. Winning faceoffs and zone entries have been an issue for Denver on their power plays. See how they do here. Bobby Brink, no attempted shots tonight. Again, he's looking to make plays more than shoot, but they would love number 24 to do something in a big moment right here. Four forwards. And Sean Barron's the defenseman on the power play. They get the face off. In front shot, save McKay. It's loose. And McKay covers up Carter Savoy, who leads them in game-winning goals number eight. The overtime hero against Michigan almost beat the Hobie Baker winner. Yeah, the guys in front of the net got fooled. They thought he was going to go behind the net with the puck, and he didn't. He took it to the front of the net, almost caught the goaltender falling asleep too right there. He pulls off the line. 
has a great scoring chance. A very smart play by Savoy. Yeah, he beat Benton Mass, the defenseman, on the on the wall there. Another face-off one. Denver set up. Break. First shot attempt is high and wide. Yeah, you know he's why, ready. I can see why you don't want that guy shooting the puck. Mazur in front. Kind of a low percentage pass and an easy clear. Minnesota State will change all four penalty killers. Well, let's see if they have a little more success on the entry. They're looking for that delay play, but it's not there. Oh, Gutman dances. Amin. And now they're set up. The dangerous brink. Savoy. Curl. Dangle. Still has it. Throws it back to the point. Bobby Brink, shake and bake. Gutman is in the bumper, waiting for a one-timer. The right-handed shot. There he is. Brink's trying to find him. Can Mazer screening in front. Barons, Savoy, the leading goal scorer for Denver. Over to Brink. The leading point getter for Denver. Behind the net. Mazer. He's got Savoy. Fires inches wide. Oh, I like how they changed the point of the attack. Minnesota State's aggressive up at the top. And so what do they do? They work the puck down low behind the net and they go to that reverse umbrella play and it's a big look from the point. So guys, a couple of adjustments made by DU here coming into this third period. Stapley. Denver set up this power play much better. Booyam, great job to get to that drop pass. He had a long way to come to keep it in the zone. However, Pavel gets the easy clear, and Minnesota State trying to turn the momentum around. They controlled much of this game, but now it's a new game. Power play winding down. Just over 10 seconds left. Stapley. Rizzo's dangerous. Back to the point. Booyam. Denver's got all kinds of room suddenly to make a play. Booyam. Right. Rizzo! Oh, he tried to tuck it in and surprise McKay. Booyam, penalty over. What time on goal! Oh, baby! Denver takes the lead! Michael Benny! And that power play sticks in the air! The Pio Nation! Great shift. Every battle was won. Puck movement was fantastic. They tried to go behind the net once on the goaltender, so he had to stay tight to the post. Just watch it, trying to jam it. Hunt the puck down, throw it out to the point. Can't shoot it, blocked. And then that was just a great one-timer up under the bar, Johnny. Wow. Well, Barry, one of the biggest differences Ooh. in this power play, Denver shooting to create yeah. chances. Not every shot needs to be under the crossbar. Minnesota State, they've done it all game. They've shot for rebounds. They've shot to create chances. Well, Denver takes a little page out of Minnesota's book. They get three or four rebounds. They create a scramble, and then all of a sudden, they set up the pretty play. And just like that, the Pioneers are ahead. And the penalty killers are beat. Two goals in under four minutes. An absolute t-shirt cannon of a shot. Oh, a chance to front. What a stick by Kyle Mayhew to save a tap-in goal. Michael Benny, one of the best offensive defensemen in the country. That's offside at the line. Carroll shoots anyway. They're not going to like that. Got to be careful. Don't take a penalty. Well, look how quick Cameron Wright got in there. Oh, excuse me, it was Barrow to pull his teammate out of there. You don't want to do anything stupid. It definitely was a late shot. It was. <laughs> it was maybe maybe in, earlier in the game it's, a, it's a, a penalty, but not now. Here's how late it was. And there's no doubt he heard it. <laughs> no. <laughs> not he heard it. Well, suddenly it's the Mavericks who are a bit frustrated. Yeah, a little, little bit unglued a little bit. 20 minutes away from their first national championship. About 15 minutes away from their first national championship. And now suddenly they trail with 11.59 to go. Mike Benning, Booyam, and Wright will get the assists. Denver's got their swagger back. Savoy, oh man, he had coming wide open. Coming down the pipe. Mavericks got to settle down here, whether it's a TV timeout or... See how they're shooting now? Just everything's going towards the net. Score! No, no it's it waved off! off. They, it is
is waved off. Immediately waved off. Dryden McKay bumped off his position. Cole Gutman thought he made it three to one, but there was clear contact. We'll see exactly what happened, but it was waved off right away, and they will take a look at this one. Yeah, they're going to look to see who made interference and who ran into McKay. Here's a good look at it. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, Bobby Brink yep. runs into the goaltender, and this one's definitely going to continue to be no goal as the officials are going to go in. And important, there are some differences in goaltender interference rules between the NHL and the NCAA. In the a goal verifies the call on the ice from our Hockey East officials. Good call. Nobody's arguing. Twelve minutes to heaven. Just got a text from NHL referee Dave Jackson, who's on our ESPN telecast. He said, good call. <laughs> Thanks for Dave watching the national championship game on ESPN, too. Brendan Sheehy, a part of the replay crew here at the Garden with the NCAA. David and I came into the American League just about the same time. Is that right? I look a lot younger, but he just doing a great job for us on ESPN. Now contributing here, free of charge. <laughs> You're not getting paid for that, Dave. Don't invoice it. We'll take all the help we can get Amen, when it brother. comes to these video reviews. Mike Benning having a great Frozen Four, a goal and three assists. He might be up for most outstanding player at this year's Frozen Four in Boston. But Minnesota State, they're now in the underdog position. They have the uphill battle. They have over 10 minutes to tie this game. Borchett along the wall, the big line out there. It's going to be a grinding, grimy, greasy final. Ten and a half minutes in Boston. Squirts out, no icing. What a chain of events here in Boston. Since the Denver's first goal of this game, no shots on goal yet for Minnesota State. Only one in the last eight minutes. So they've been rattled by this chain of events, and they need to find their game. They have time, 7.57. Face off one by Denver, just wide. Savoy. Never dangerous. Edmonton Oilers drop pick looks good. Tyler Wright, part of the Oiler organization, is here in Boston this weekend taking a look at their drop pick, and he looks good. Tension rising. Minnesota State's never been here before in a title game. They would love to get their school's first D1 Hockey National Championship offside at the line. Yeah, you've got to wonder if Denver is going to start thinking a little bit more defensive. Watch your screen. Look at all the yep. red jerseys in the neutral zone. I count four on the red line to the defensive blue line half. One guy up in the front steering, trying to push people out to the wall. They're going to try to create turnovers similar to how Minnesota State did it early. Over seven minutes left here in the third. The national championship on the line. Here comes Minnesota State. All of Mankato nervous right now. Trying to will their team the tying goal. Puck comes out as the Pioneers look for their third national championship in the city of Boston. Mass, wrist shot, oh. The blocker saved by Krona. Good shot by Mass. Big line out there for Minnesota State. Pavel stays out there. He's got to change to get Mason Smith on the ice. And here comes Smith. The puck's staying wide. No pucks are going through the middle right now. Watch out, Mazer. Two on one. Mazer, Rizzo. Mazer, Rizzo. Mass 
Massimo Rizzo has had an outstanding NCAA tournament. He takes the pass from Carter Mazur. Minnesota State is absolutely stunned. Yeah, the collision at the blue line, Butchie, created a ton of mayhem out into the shallow part of the neutral zone, and you rarely see a team get a two-on-one from the red line down, and you see some of the reactions. Twenty-year-old for Burnaby, British Columbia, Massimo Rizzo, his twelfth goal of the year. And the twenty-year-old has put Denver in sights of their ninth national championship. Now the Mavs need a miracle. Lutz tipped. Oh, just wide. Threatening now. Lutz wrist shot gloved by Chrono. Well, let's take a look at this uh, middle of the rink here where the collision happened. There's everybody running together. The puck comes through. All of a sudden, you're going to see pucks being beat up the ice, and there's the wide open net. What Great a pass. job. Both were on their opposite side so they could one time the puck. Yeah, maybe. Very fortunate that way. He does a great job of waiting for Andy Carroll to move his stick just enough to find that lane across. That's a big time offensive play.